Welcome back to Universe. I'm Andrew, and today I'm playing Marvel's Midnight Suns. This is part 14 of my playthrough, but you're welcome to join me. If you want to catch up on all the story and what's been going on, definitely start with episode 1. I've got the link to the playlist in the description. But I left off trying to decide which mission to choose. I can't do the story mission. I had it down between this one because I'll get an intel cache, which I haven't had in a while. I haven't been able to do any ops. Or this one because it has epic blueprint rewards and I get to use magic who I want to use a little bit more, but I think I'm going to do this one and hopefully it'll be pretty quick. It says easy, so I can pick up some ops potential. And I have to use blade. I don't really use blade a lot. Mm, I don't really care that much about friendship with blade, so maybe I should do all people. Hmm. Or I could have this up as an opportunity to you do some more Wolverine action. I haven't upgraded his cards, so maybe an easy mission is good for him. And then if I do Hunter, I get some Wolverine Friendship. Alright, that doesn't sound bad. Let's do that. And jump in. Man. All that Wolverine costume is missing is the stripes. Stop the Summoning Circle. Stop the Hydra Mystics from summoning Lilin. Attack depending enemies to break protection. Damaging a Mystic will disrupt their connection. The summoning ritual will collapse when all Mystics have been interrupted. Hydra Mystics are opening a gate. You've got to stop them. There's no telling what might emerge. We've got some protection. Still with me? Let's Blade is targeted by the... What is the quick thinking? That's a lot of the little abilities. So I think we got an extra card from one of those abilities. Blades fast means this hero combo that is part blade is reduced by one cost. Oh, I just randomly remembered that I have a hero request from Ghost Rider from Robbie to do a heroic combo with him. Which means I would need to bring him on a mission, which I didn't do. So I wonder how long I've got on that. So we got one minion here. Is that it? Oh, two, two minions. It's a lot of terrain. This card can delay the summoning ritual. If we kill that, we get that card. If we kill this, we get this card. To get 134 block and a counter and taunt everybody. And then 396. 396, 396, 396, and 204 plus 413. So that's a lot of health we're going to have to go through for an easy mission. This could explode and do a little bit of damage. I don't know. How much can we do? This one can do 276. Quick Strike and Holy Spark are both quick, so we can take out both minions. I don't feel like I need this heal right off the bat. Chain 3 Taunt is nice. Make them bleed. Draw a blade card. The next two blade cards deal two bleed. That's nice to put on some high costing. I start with five heroism? Wow. All right, let's redraw the heal. She gets to heal, but she's already at full health. Draw two Wolverine cards. Wolverine cards gain life steal. I don't need that either. Another hero combo. All right. So I wonder. If I do a couple quick cards to take out minions, I could then make them bleed and then hero combo twice on maybe this mystic and this guy here. Knock back and apply weak. So that might be good, like, oh, it's so close. I could do, nope, dang. Huh. What about on this guy? I mean, the enemies are just spacing out out enough that I can't knock them into each other. I 
well. The thing about quick is you definitely want to take out an enemy when you use the quick attack, otherwise you don't get the card play refund. I only have three card plays. So I'm not going to play it unless I'm getting it as a free card play. So if I can't hit that minion, I'm not going to get a knockout, and I'm not going to get the refund. So that's not going to work for me. I can do a... I bet... Shove is going to be the same situation. Does Blade happen to have a bigger... Knockback range? No. Some here's a different knockback ranges because of training and stuff. But if anyone, probably the hunter would. Ooh, that actually, Wolverine has the angle to knock this minion into that bomb. We'll take out two minions with one shove. I'm not even using an attack. It's actually slightly bad because being able to play the attacks gives me heroism when I play them. So free card plays turn into free heroism. That plus one in the bottom left corner with in orange means my heroism is going to need to go up. And I'm going to need at least six if I want to play both hero combos. So using the shove, using my move action to just push an enemy, uh, could get some nice damage in, but not the heroism I need. So... I think I'm just going to have to, I mean, at the very least, take out one enemy with an attack. Hail. So I'll probably use my shove a little bit differently because I want the heroism. So that damage on the Mystic is going to make her stop summoning, which means she's going to become an enemy. I mean, she is an enemy, but she's going to start attacking us. So that's something to keep in mind from damaging them. Um, so that was both minions are out, and I got the two heroism, three card plays. So maybe I just put the damage on her then. His effect is he's protecting, he's targeting Hunter. But let's make him bleed. 276, huh? It's about 80 health remaining. For her a little bit more. Alright, so card play one is going to be make him bleed. Draw a blade card. Target was damaged this turn, plus 91 damage. Pretty good. So plus 91, 150. And the hero combo is not going to take that out anyway. So we can do this. Put it down to 82. I don't know what Blade's bleed amount is. Like it's going to apply two ticks of bleed, but I don't know how much damage that is. So I put her down to. 82 It's probably about enough to kill her in two turns if I'm willing to wait Good Did that not apply bleed? Oh no Why didn't it apply bleed? These hero combos messed me up, man. Wow. Alright, well, 150. She's at 82. I could just finish her off with this Relentless. It's a little bit waste of a little damage. I could use this. 54% that she dies falling into the drop. I could knock them into each other. Start knocking her into this protection guy. I 
but I'm kind of bummed about the bleed situation. And yeah, that's true. If I finish her off, I kind of want to get the bleed in, don't I? Can Wolverine vault? No. Can you do this? What is this? Can't quite hit her with that. Can hit her with this box. But not for enough damage. I'll put her down to 17 though, and then Wolverine could use chain swipes. I don't even know if she's gonna attack this turn though, because she just got disrupted. I think they turn take a turn off. Ugh. I want to hit somebody that's actually going to benefit from applying bleed. But I think that bleed ability will stick around, I think. So my turn didn't really work out, but I think I'm just going to put a bunch of damage on this mystic. Come on, we're doing it. I take a bit more damage than I wanted to. So I didn't. I only took out two minions, and that's it. Out of card plays. Oh, I still have my move, so I may as well just do this. Actually, no. Seventy-seven percent chance she falls in. So let's do that. It's probably seventy-seven percent chance that she dies is better than a little bit of damage. Dang. All right, we got the 23% chance that she didn't fall in. Now can Wolverine vault? No. Very particular, huh? All right, I'm gonna end my turn then. So those two deeper. mystics are summoning. For something to call for. Oh, he got corrupted. That's not good. I cannot move. She got dazed. Dazed? How many? We get two or those minions, hopefully. This mission said it was easy, but. Get another hole. Alright, now Wolverine's targeted by the pack. Blade is at half health, and he is now corrupted, so for two turns he takes 70 damage at the end of his turn and spreads it to nearby units. We got this Wolverine epic rapid healing, restore health cure playable when he's unable to act, but he doesn't need that. Hunter is dazed too, so I can't bands of fire. The new dogs are minions. Well, I can finish her off easily, probably. 82... Maybe not that easily. Chain 4 and Taunt. Wolverine's already targeted by the pack. That's not much damage. Sixty plus potentially plus ninety-one. It has to be against someone who is damaged. Is that not in range to get the minion? Just one foot is inside, not quite enough. This is not as easy as I anticipated. 
All right, I don't need two chain swipes. I don't even know if I need one, so we'll redraw that. Another make them bleed. No, thank you. So that's all my redraws, and I get Daywalker. 30 damage, chain four. Chain four with the bleed is pretty good. So I can put bleed onto four people. Four dogs. I have nothing quick. Use my shove to take out a minion and do a little damage. She's down to 52. Definitely think Daywalker this turn makes a lot of sense. What's the range on it? Let me do that. Only a little bit of damage, huh? But the two bleed is nice. Whatever gets the job done. So now I still like to finish her off. Hopefully that counted as him taking damage, so if I were to use Relentless, I'd do 150. That does seem to be the case. And it'll apply two more bleed, which will be nice for burning through this guy's health. And I'm gonna do it. That must have taken practice. So Hunter's back up. And I wonder if... Ugh. This can take her out? Ooh, okay, for one heroism we can take her out. And got one heroism left. Can throw her into the, a dog? Or I can... Yeah. I put bleed on her, but I kind of used her as a chain link to reach around the dogs and into that armor guy. So I think this is good. No mercy for the servants. Now I have no heroism left. You are lucky to still be breathing. We can interrogate her, so we got an interrogate card. I have to draw a card for some reason. Oh, that card's the whip was on KO. Draw a card, so. I can't play it. Uh, I can interrogate her, but I need to hit people. I don't have any redraws. Is Blade targeted at all? No, everybody's going at Wolverine. He's at full health with just 362, which is pretty high. And then I've got the rapid healing, so I think he'll be fine. If I need to play healing, I can. So let's pass to the enemies. Oh, blade corrupted. It spreads to the bad guys. They're summoning some more. He's dazed, but he can heal through that. This doesn't feel easy. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be one of the hardest ones ever, but... It doesn't feel easy. Oh, he did it, did it back? Bleed is 60 damage per tick, so that's nice. Starting to fade fast here. Alright, where are we at? Blade's going to take another 100... 40 damage. 
Because he just corrupted and then got corrupted back? It's kind of weird. Oh, the bleed is going... skipping his armor. That's interesting. Two turns remain to stop the mystics. Up in the top left corner. I should pay attention to that. This will... Take out two dogs and damage one pretty hard. But I would need Blade to activate it so that he'll move out of the way. I want to do that? I think so. About time. So now I've got... Wolverine's dazed one. But he's not targeted anymore. If I really wanted to play a Wolverine card, I could just use Rapid Healing. Heal 181. That puts him over half. So, uh, 2, 160, 170. No, the 181 wouldn't even fill him up, would it? What else can we do? I have no heroism. This guy's block has to break for him to stop protecting this mystic. The hunger applies two mark to every enemy with bleed, and it's free. And we've got a bunch of enemies with bleed, so that's actually mandatory. I'm going to be playing that. It's free, so why not? Do I have any other blade cards? Because I think... I want to say I've still got... One more chance to... Um, apply bleed? Not sure. It would be nice to be able to cure his corruption. Because he's going to take all that damage. This can damage an enemy or cure... So I might have to do that. But that takes a card play. But I don't think I can just let Blade take 140 more damage from that corruption. This guy's... Oh, he's not corrupted. I thought he was corrupted. Alright. So... Do I... Redraw something? Chain 3 time. I'm going to redraw this. I don't have the heroism for it. Oh, okay. I don't have any more bleed applications. But this consumes all bleed on a target to deal all of that remaining bleed damage, which could be good for burning through this guy. How much was the bleed tick? Was that like 50? Or 60? He's got three, so this could do like 180... 200 damage, maybe? Not sure if I'm doing that right. Alright, let's play the Hunger now, because I'm not going to be able to add any more bleed, so let's just mark those three opponents, which basically makes all attacks against them quick, so I get my card play refunded, which means I can chain swipe these three guys, take out two of them, and get a card play refunded for taking out the one that's marked. Still have three card plays. I got the delay summoning card. Which I don't know if I want. This guy's got 20 health left and he's also marked. So I can just hit him with whatever I want. Which is... I don't have a lot of options actually. Not a lot of good options. I could redraw the delay summoning. I could redo this deadly ground. Yeah. Viscerate. Wonder if we can just shove. That'll take him out. So I'm gonna do that. 
Stay down. Now I got I've got this. Gain block and counter and taunt. Alright, I'm gonna do Reaper on this guy. It's gonna put him down to 86. Yeah. Protection's lost. Okay. We can blow this up to put him down to a low number. If I don't interrogate now, it's going to be gone. Uh, how much do I need that? Do I want to spend a card play on that? Man, I kind of want to use this for quick, but I want to cure blade. So I don't think I can afford to interrogate. So I'm going to... Blow this thing up. It's going to put me down to one heroism, and then I won't be able to eviscerate. You know what? Hmm. If I interrogate, I have one card play left. I can blow this thing up and put him down to a low health. My only damaging card is Eviscerate though, so I actually have to Eviscerate instead. 37 four times to hit him three times and then I could put the fourth one on the mystic but because he's marked I get a card play back after that and then I can holy spark to cure so I am going to interrogate uh, not with blade let's let wolverine interrogate looks very intimidating in that costume. 58 credits, sure. Now we're going to eviscerate. One, two, three, four. Hard play refunded. I've got a reputation to protect. It knocked another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. And so we can cure blade. Up to one heroism. So if Wolverine were to blow this thing up, put a little damage on to that mystic. Did Eviscerate taunt? Why is she targeting Blade? I mean, she's targeting Wolverine. I would have shot, thought she's targeting nobody. I don't know if that's worth spending a heroism for a little bit of damage on one person. So, pass the turn, see if she does anything. This is not good. All I have to do to stop the summoning is just hit her. Alright, so I guess taunting her made her attack when otherwise I don't think she would have. Grandma Stick still gets to summon some more dogs, which hopefully are minions. Targeting Hunter. She gave us a second heroism. I think you just terrorized the wrong neighborhood. Last chance to disrupt a summoning ritual. If the ritual is completed, a powerful Lilin will emerge. You need to stop that ritual now. All we have to do is damage that mystic. We don't even have to kill her. So I think we'll be fine on that front. Quick swipe as a crit, 46 damage, taunt quick. Wonder. I can also delay the summoning, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to redraw this now. Blade Storm. Is that what I need? That might be what I need. 
taunt and quick. So I don't remember, but I think if I damage her, this whole little pit disappears. Might not be correct. But then if I blade storm, I could potentially knock this dog back into her for a little extra damage. I don't even know if that's necessary. But I might still hit her first. Chain 3, 25% chance to bleed. That's pretty good. This is so weird. 46 damage as a quick card is like overkill, at least on a minion. I want to generate two more heroism so I can play the Blade Storm. Savage, though, if the target has block. Well, we don't have anybody with blocks. So I'm going to redraw this. Two heroism for 91 damage isn't worth it. Quick Slash. All right. Could be good. Well, I think I'm just going to put this damage on her. But then I'm taunting her again. Again, I think they take a turn off, so maybe I don't want to hit her with this particular attack. Maybe Blade can strike her. Just hit her three times. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. I did Blade her with one tick. Now maybe Wolverine. Man, I kind of want to use the quick first. Uh, I can't even reach her anyway, so. Doesn't matter. Now I'm wondering if Bladestorm's even worth it. Probably not. I still think I want the quick. Was that truly your best? And then Wolverine can use this quick card on the other minion. That looks like it hurt. Bladestorm's not really worth it just for 77 damage. But I don't have any more redraws. I wonder if Blade can vault? Not quite. Little bit of damage there. I mean, what if I did this? It's actually a nice big chunk of damage. And because I have no other damaging cards, I'm gonna do it. It is time. Every once in a while, the legends are true. This is 135, she's at 168. Man. Oh, and it costs, oh, it costs one heroism. Still have a card play. 181 health back or 134 block and counter. But I don't want to taunt all enemies. I don't want this lady who I don't think is going to do anything to do something. We'll see if I'm wrong, but... I feel like my last card is going to be Rapid Healing. So I've got basically nothing else to do. Now for something real special. And then... I guess let's move Blade... Oops. To here. I mean, or I can use my move to Shove. A little bit of damage. No. Let's use blade to move here. 
A pointless endeavor. So that he can do this on here. It's on. Could have been anybody, but Blade was already closer. And then we can still bash her with this rock. Watch me. Thanks to the two heroism from healing. And we get an interrogation again. Alright, let's see what this lady wants to do. She wants to take bleed damage. I appreciate it. Got a few more cards to work with. Holy Burst, 77 damage, damage each enemy and restore 150 health to every ally. 100, the damage is 77. This is 60, 72. This is 37. This consume bleed. Apply mark to everyone with bleed, but I don't have the way to apply bleed. This is the weakest one, so let's redraw this. There's the make them bleed. So I have a way to... Oh, and draw a bleed card. Alright, let's go in on bleed. Draw a blade card, Relentless. The target was damaged, plus 91. Ooh, so now I wanna... I wanna do something that gives bleed. Hmm. Be nice to be able to heal them. But I wanna... Ah. Target was damaged, apply bleed. How do I damage her? Can't quite damage her. So I want to play Relentless to apply bleed, then probably the Hunger to give her Marked, then, well, Marked doesn't matter, actually. Because she's the last enemy. So I'm just going to redraw this. Even though it's free to play, it just doesn't do anything. Another card that isn't going to be super useful. If I wanted to heal somebody, I could have given Blade Block. I don't know if I can take her out with two card plays. Relentless? Okay, Relentless does 76 damage and two bleed. And then Reaper will do about... 150, so 220, she's at 245, so I think she's going to be just out of range. But I may as well try, because I only have two card plays left. There's no way I'm going to do anything quick. So let's get the bleed in, see where we're at. I was doing rough numbers, so... And check Reaper is gonna kill her, so we'll just do that. We've done it. If it wasn't, I probably would have used it to interrogate or a heal and then waited till next turn. One star, too slow. Got a gamma coil rare and intel cache rare. 58 credits for the one interrogation. Finished in five turns. Not fast enough, huh? I was using my weaker characters, to be honest. Wolverine and Blade. That's a good excuse, right? But I want to be able to level up Wolverine in terms of friendship and hopefully get some good Gamma Coil cards. Complete two missions with Wolverine is complete now. Make my rounds. Got some people wanting to hang out. Not 
that many. Oh my god, Robbie. Why are you so pumped about meeting Blaze? Word on the street is the dudes have Why are so many people not available for hangouts? Oh, come on. He's the original spirit of vengeance and like my personal hero. Hmm. Who do I want to hang out with? I maxed out my friendship with Nico. I might do Wolverine. I guess he's not that available either. Felt good. Needed that. We're gonna need a new training dummy. You ended that one's career. <laughs> Sorry to bust up your equipment. Training at night always gets Man, me. Man, look at those zone. boots. I prefer I'm the saying, spiky boots. Night Stalker, all the way. Gives me a chance to let go. Be myself without worrying what others might think. Bub, I don't even know what myself is anymore. Butchers at Weapon X threw my mind into a blender. Wanted to erase the man to unleash the pure beast. They got what they wanted. And then some... Just listening to Wolverine. Charles has been trying to help me put the pieces back ever since. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to remember it all. Opening up? He's really a opening up. fed on my mother during my birth. Wow, these two are buddies. For whatever reason, her face at that moment was burned into my mind. It was the same one I saw years later when I had to put her down. We better order a lot more training dummies. This night is darker than most. Why? Is there a danger I am not seeing? You're looking right at it. Lilith's darkness is testing me, Hunter. Her power is growing and mine along with it. I won't lie. I like feeling this strong. I like it a little too much. Surely you felt it too. I do not know what you mean, but I am not a vampire. Half vampire. That's the half that's drawn to Lilith. Your mother. Don't tell me you don't feel your powers growing with hers. I'm doing my best to keep the blood-sucking beast in me at bay, but it's getting harder and harder each night. And I'll be honest, it pisses me off. You may not know this about me, but I like to be in control. Should I be hanging garlic over my bed? Keeping a steak on my nightstand? I'd laugh, but smiling is not my style. Caretaker taught me the undead do not have the same taste for humor as they do for blood. Still not laughing. You know, Sometimes I have found all you need is a good night's sleep. It does wonders for my outlook. Good nights, bad nights. I really don't sleep. It's not my thing. I'll be awake for a long time tonight. If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. And what would you like to talk about? Whatever you want. Sure. I just click, auto clicked on all the light answers for the points because I don't really care about friendship with Blade. Let's just run down the list. Are you curious about the Fallen? Do you think we can bring them back? I wonder. They look terrible on the outside. I can't imagine they look any better on the inside. But I don't want to think those things about Wanda, so I really don't think about it at all. Lilith's evil goes deep. It corrupts to the core. Like I said, I'd rather think about other things. Do you think the Suns will ever pull it together as a team? A team's only as good as its leader. If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. And what would you like to talk about? Whatever you want. Seeing you and Logan bonding through training makes my heart glad. Logan's a good sparring partner. He doesn't hold back. Wouldn't mind having some of his carefree attitude, but not enough to lose my edge. There's a lot more to Logan than appears at first. I know he's got his dark side. He's just better at showing it off. While we are talking about Lilith, is there anything she might be able to use against you? You mean leverage? Lilith looks for weaknesses as a way to get into your mind. 
I need to know about yours. I knew a woman once, Gloriana. We traveled the world together, slaughtering vampires and making love. Good times. We were in London and got word of a master vampire on the loose. My big ego told me I could kill him as easy as the others. I was wrong. I nearly got myself killed. And because of that mistake, I left him an opening to turn glory into one of his kind. The woman I loved became the thing I hate. I'll spare you the rest of the details. It is okay. I understand the emotions. Love turning to hate resonates with me well. A lot of people are really opening up about dark past this things. This seems like a good time to train with Carol. Why not? Logan's here. No, I mean, if you have feelings for her, you should... I said Logan's here. He's got uh, a new crush. Right. I understand. The night is only getting darker, and I am getting tired. Then sleep? You are not going to hit the coffin, too? It is going to be an early morning. I don't know what it is with you in coffins. Talk again? If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. And what? You are. I don't know. Alright. If someone's calling, I have to click on it. I got a mushrooms. I got a mushrooms. I haven't used this portal yet. Maybe we should try that out. Alright, else anything else going on before bedtime? Got some floaty modes. Attack. Gloss. Attack. Oh, yeah, we still have to do a hangout. I don't want to skip that. My options are limited for some reason. Any new books to read? Oh. Hello, my sweet girl. Oh, this thing's back. Nothing else going on. Alright, let's check the map. Some hangout options. Oh, I can hang out with them too. Okay, good to know. This chest is closed back up. Let's open that again. Legendary palette for Nico, legendary, legendary for Hunter, common blueprint. Alright, and then let's go back and do a hangout. So, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, or Magic. My Whatever, only options. Robbie, fanboy all you want. Go get yourself an autograph for all I care. Just don't tell me I didn't warn you. Hmm. Where am I at on friendship with people? So level one with Blade still. Level one with Captain America. Level two with C Captain Marvel. Oh. So... Yeah, I do like her. Three with Doctor Strange. And I just wish I liked his cards more. One with Ghost Rider, three with Iron Man. Two with Magic. One with Nico, but that's a reset. 
based on I max it out and I get to start over. Two with Peter Parker, one with Wolverine, but he's not available for hanging out for some reason. Hmm. All right, so the ones who's actually a choice. Let's do magic. Ooh, playing cards, reading, or have a drink. Seems like have a drink, right? It was hard enough getting used to the midnight suns. Now we have doubled in size. You are one of the Midnight Suns. Now, yes, but not at the beginning. I was the strange woman who spoke to no one. It must be worse for you, Hunter. All the faces are new, except for Caretaker. Hmm. What answer is magic gonna like? You're right, it's difficult. I don't mind. Mm, I'm gonna go with this one. Sometimes it feels like I am blundering through all feels of this. Feels more honest. Well, you're doing something right amidst your blundering. You made at least one friend. I will tell you a secret. Do not laugh. I have a tiny envy for how you make friends so quickly. How so? It comes so easy to you. Even when you are a bat, you are a likable bat. Hmm. I feel like she would still prefer this answer. I'm not here to make friends. I'm going to go with this one. You like my butt? Hunter, this, this right here, this is you being a butt. Not as long as I am likable. Ha, <laughs> up for debate. Whatever you're doing, keep doing. Don't waste the time hiding in your room. Ah, and a gift. We know she likes music. I don't know if she likes transcendental chimes. I don't know if she likes glam metal white python. I don't think she wants a Spider-Man comic or a book about childhood trauma as much as she might have experienced it. Or did experience it. No, no. Fresh and fruity? We know she likes sweets. But I don't know if she wants, like, fruit sweets. A book about calming your inner demon? No. Vivaldi. That could be good. I don't know if she wants any books. Snack box. It doesn't say what's inside, just a taste for the young generation. Um, a Dazzler song. That could be good. I'm going to give her this Transcendental Chimes book, Music Box. Loved it. We plus must eight. do this again. Conversation plus two, conversation plus one, love the activity, plus seven. Got a school spirit, common abbey outfit for magic. 
wonder if that's going to be New Mutants or Xavier Institute. Sleeveless Gray for Hunter, plus two stat increase for Hunter as well for a little bit extra knockback distance. All right, plus 18 sounds good. Now plus why is my map pictures. glowing? It's a Russian delicacy. Might just be a... Oh, nope. Doctor Strange still wants to talk about something. I do want to see the new shirt, though. I just got for magic. Ah, uh, yeah, an X shirt. Right now she's just wearing this to fall. I like this Dark Child band, metal band shirt, but... Little Bob? Emo Kids. Headbanger. How much gloss do I have? Oh, I'm down to 600 gloss? Alright, I'm going to let her wear this sometimes. I was going to buy them all and let her rotate, but... I'm a little low on gloss for that, so we'll just get the one. And I already have changed daily on, but I don't want to add that to the mix, so. For Hunter. Now we can talk to Doctor Strange. Steven. Tony could blot out the sky with the number of satellites he could launch to hunt for Blaze, and I don't think it would do any good. Meanwhile, the greatest help we could have asked for came from this mysterious demon locked away in these flames for all eternity. Demons are, by definition, evil, yet this one seems to want to help. And I'm inclined to trust it. A demon reaching out to help us achieve our goals is just another sign that the old battle lines no longer exist. Good and evil mean nothing in the face of Cathan. Sadly, I think you're correct. So, Robbie. He is very definitely the key to finding Blaze. How do we make that happen? I think Stark and I have our work cut out for us. Tony and I need to put our heads together. We should have something soon. Alright. Blaze isn't some regular guy. If he doesn't want to be found, I suspect he won't be found. Okay, Dr. Positive. Now we are done with the day. Somehow, Hunter is still glowing. But wants me to look at stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I got new colors for these. Not even gonna bother. Go to bed. Good night. And good morning. Ooh, private superlink message. Probably hit a new threshold of friendship there. Have our new friend conversation. Uh, so this already approved the book club, right? Hunter, I do not enjoy gifts from most people, but you are not most people. Thank you. The Abbey is just too much right now. You should join me for some peace and quiet. Where are we going? We are just hanging out. You know, for fun. Hmm. I am surprised. How so? I thought your idea of leisure was antagonizing Doctor Strange. <laughs> Tormenting him is too easy of a sport. Sometimes it's good to take a walk with someone who sees you as more than just an interdimensional doorman. Maybe I don't think you totally suck, okay? You do not? But before you use the F word, there are some very important ground rules. No braiding each other's hair. Actually, no touching each other's hair. 
No sharing food. And if you're thinking about nicknames, don't. Clear? I kind of want to know the answer to why no nicknames, but I feel like I need time to consider is the funnier answer. Magic might appreciate more. Nicknames I want to know. Nicknames are not a favorite of mine either. Although they do have a benefit, they are an efficient way to identify if it is really you or if you are possessed by a demon. Don't worry. If that happens, a nickname would be one way to snap me out of it. With rage. Fair enough. Out of curiosity, what did I do to earn this new place in your social hierarchy? Why do you have to be so annoying about it? You know how to be bad, but in a good way. I like that. You too, Ileana. So it is settled. We are friends. There you go with that F word again. Don't ruin it, Hunter. I will use another word then. Flattered, because that is what I am. All right, so we're at level three. Plus one move, magic combo modifier. Gain a move when activating this ability. So I guess I can somehow activate. Here, I'll move this for a second. So you can read that. Plus one move, magic combo modifier. So somehow it's a friendship move that I can activate. I feel like so far they've been passive. Wonder how that works. Plus one move when magic is on the team seems pretty good. I assume it's like once per bite. Complements now have an increased value on friendship. It's been a while since I've heard the chiming of the church bell. Wonder when that's going to pay off. Find out who's been going up there. Oh, Charlie. Feeling good today, girl. Pick up this little vase. Charlie friendship up to six. One of her abilities has been upgraded. Ah, man, I wish I could use that summon Charlie card in fights. I'm gonna compliment Wolverine. I do want to up his friendship. Well, let me check. I want to keep a compliment in the queue. I've got two though. Two compliments in my inventory. <laughs> so, I'm going to spend one. I have never seen claws like yours before. The comments All right. are so dumb. I'll allow it. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, let's do this first. Daily sparring. Got the money for it. Plus 10 resilience. Chance to resist a negative status effect. Is Nico available? Because I would really like her to not get stunned no and dazed. Magic, right? Ooh, I see what I'm about. Nico level up to 15. Three friendship with her. Eh. I guess I don't totally need the friendship with her anymore, but... Upgrade ability... Back again. What does he have available? No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna upgrade these cards. Alright, we'll come back here later. If needed. Pick up some money. Oh, I can invite her to a haven. While you're out there... Make sure to get Robbie you know what? I'm going to do that. Let's invite her to a haven. That will make him I'm going to look up him. what haven she would prefer. Looks like meditation or painting. And painting is slightly less popular among the characters on my roster. Is this... This is a meditation? Yeah. 
I'm gonna we're gonna do painting, uh, in part because also her brother's a painter. Maybe she likes it to feel a little more connection with her brother. They don't have a super great relationship, so I'm gonna take her to the Warren Ledge. I took Captain America painting before, didn't I? Is the Abbey like a summer camp? What is a summer camp? I see them in movies. Nico says they are real places. In summer camp movies, people live in the woods and act comedically. There is always strangeness in the background, like hippie aliens, hockey killers, or Cold War espionage with insulting Russian caricatures. None of that sounds like the Abbey. I suppose you are right. And here, there is much less smooching. For now. Much less? I will not say who. It could bring us a hockey killer. Ooh, now I have to give her another gift. Do we do another music box? I feel like this might be a bit more of a Nico music box. As much as she wears the, band, the metal shirt, I feel like her style of music is classical. But I could be wrong. So I think I am going to go... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to... I don't need to up Nico's friendship anymore. So I don't need to save epic gifts for her. Let's just try this on magic. She loved I'm it. Alright, good. I am pleasantly surprised. Plus more seven, 17 more friendship. We got another magic swimsuit and a rare Abbey outfit for Hunter. Well, we don't ever go swimming, so kind of weird. We need those. Let me see. Let me see it. No, I don't like these sleeveless, kind of shiny looking shirts, tank tops. I don't know why. And then Magic's new swimsuit. Is that yellow and pink? Is that New Mutants colors or something? I don't know. I don't need to spend gloss on that. Alright, so we did that. Let's go down. I mean, I'm just going to keep buying all these. Maybe that's why I have no gloss left. Magneto's back and he's not alone. The X-Men and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants battle for the first time. Well, none of the original X-Men are in this game. So is this a Wolverine gift? Who wants this? Or just is there somebody who's just a comic collector? I don't know. Uh, Multi-dimensional ciphers and graviton theory. That might be... <laughs> my scientifically minded readers so I guess Doctor Strange or Iron Man so I'll take that one and another candle a little California into your life I don't know if I need all these I've been buying every gift but I feel like I have so many gifts now And I don't know who I would give this to. I'm going to skip these, actually. My gloss is dipping a little low. I floated around 1,000 for almost the whole game, and now I'm down to, like, 500. Oh, you are going to love this. All right. Before they know what hit them, completed. The information the doctor gave me was not all terrible, and this will keep the flying captain off my back if her little ops go well. Ilyana. Hero ops grant additional rewards if bonus requirements are met. Alright, so now we can do the old 3-4. Teamwork Tactics 2. Heroes draw a card when an ally knocks an enemy into them. So I'm definitely doing that one. Oh, although... 
Yeah, I can't do either of these anyway. Uh, they're both... Oh, buy and sell resources. But I need to do four more missions with Captain America for this. The only reason I'm looking at it is... I got an artifact, right? So I could do... Did I not get the artifact? Didn't I get the artifact? Where's artifact? Oh, artifact would be here. No artifacts. I guess I didn't get an artifact? I got an intel cache. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. So, I'll, yeah, just go ahead and do this one. Gamma coil analysis. Blade, Wolverine, and Hunter. Hopefully I get some good Wolverine stuff. What can I Power say? slash, 37 damage, knockback, vulnerable. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 37 damage, knockback is not, like, that exciting. But knockback can be pretty good. But the vulnerable means all the damage that enemy takes for the rest of the turn is going to be increased by 50%. So for like this can set up a pretty strong damaging turn against somebody with a lot of health. Another the hunger is good for blade especially since it's free but blade's kit is really tight. His deck is super limited because they need cards that give bleed, cards that key off of bleed and then he also just has other cards that are good that have nothing to do with bleed. And there's only like 10 cards, so it's very tight. Slash, apply vulnerable and knockback mod. I don't think I need that one. And then a basic ba make them bleed. Well, I have a reroll. I can reroll once per pack, so I'll reroll this just in case. Just gotta fortify, gain a counter and 115 block for the hunter. Get that, I'll just take these two. This Not a particularly exciting pack, but they're both probably going to go in decks, so that's good. I could, like, craft abilities and stuff, but tool. I'm not going to. You find more coil, and... Send it my way. All right. Oh, Charlie's following me? Good girl, Charlie. I'm going to go ahead and just put those cards in. Assuming I can find room. Again, hunger's good. Or I can upgrade it. Recover 61 health for each enemy with bleed. Wow, that attacked on is pretty nice. Otherwise, where am I going to put that? I need the make them bleeds to apply bleed. This has a mod to... Add do extra bleed. But I need attacks to actually make them bleed. Applies bleed onto attacks. I need the attacks. This one consumes bleed. This one does bonus damage if they were damaged. And then we've got the hunger, savage. Which is just block based, but it's just a ton of damage. And then the chain four is really nice. Alright, I'm just going to upgrade the hunger instead of putting it a second copy in the deck. And then... Or Wolverine, that should be an easy swap for something. Quick swipe is nice. I don't think I need this. That's the one I kept redrawing. So let's do that. And then I can upgrade it. Full combo, apply one week. Gains an additional effect when all attacks in the chain target a single enemy. Okay, so if he just puts all three chains... On one person, it's going to do 72 damage, and they become weak and taunted. Sure. So I'll go ahead and upgrade both those cards. Back at the training area. Time's wasting, Hunter. We need any advantage we can get. And Wolverine. Let's see him try to handle me now. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. And I think 
I might put a mod onto that blade card. Probably not the Wolverine card because it's just a common. I'll probably replace it at some point. But let's put a mod on this one. Plus one move or redraw for concealed. I don't know if blade needs to be concealed necessarily. The one move is pretty nice. And it's free, so I can always just play it for a move. It's pretty good. I like to stay on the cutting edge. We hit a new level up of their training level. Explosives deal increased damage. And do I want to upgrade these other cards too? Or just this one? Yeah, let's do it. I've got the essences. Attacks are a little tight, but... 10% stun I don't love. Marked I do love, except for that this might be finishing them off. So I have to damage them, then hit them with Relentless, and then hit them again to take them out and get the benefit of the mark. That's a complicated sequence to pull off. But I just don't like 10% stun chance very much. I mean, stunning is great. It's creepy if you think about it. I mean, Sunning's really good. It's just unreliable when it's 10%. So I'm going to do the marked. I'd rather it was like, if it was like Nico's Roulette, where like 10% of the time when I drew the card, it would tell me that it was going to stun. And 90% of the time, it just wouldn't do that. And it, But like knowing in advance is super important because then I can plan around it. But I'm not going to, I usually like to plan out my turn and 10% stun doesn't work for that. I'm always in the market for an upgrade. All right. Now, oh, Charlie is following me. Oh, cutscene triggered. So, uh, does someone want to tell me what we're doing here? We have a plan, Robbie. We just need you to wear something. Uh, wear what? We'll get to that it's a statement piece and what kind of statement is that relax kid you should be excited you're going to summon Johnny blaze for us we're ready to go when you are I'm curious to see this all right well let's check out this situation I finally got so let's begin. stuff all right so warden your ops will grant additional rewards if bonus requirements are met. Take it. Intel cache decryption. What's the latest intel? Finally. It's been so long since I had an intel cache. Just more evil junk. Don't these people sleep? Have hobbies? So I got these two new ops. For rare abilities. Nice. Tony might take all the credit for this thing, but just imagine where we And then I'm probably not gonna send anybody on an op now, move. but this one expires in three days. Bonus rewards. You got a mes message from Ms. Marvel. Something hit an entire neighborhood and left everyone unconscious. No one knows what happened. Just that the lights went out and they woke up in a hospital. Now repeat that for like a thousand households. Help me check it out. We'll cover more ground together. So to select a hero. What is tactical? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So it's going to tell me. Wolverine is tactical. Nico is not tactical. Spider-Man's not tactical. Blade is tactical. Choice, but we all know all right. what we signed up for. So some heroes are some heroes aren't, and the only way to know is just to try it out, apparently. Uh, this one costs 19, but I've got plenty of intel. Aid Shield Agents. Shield delivered a message from Commander Abigail Brand. I've been ordered to work with you on matters that defy rational explanation. I do this under protest. Stay in your lane. Don't disrupt my operations. And you know what? Just send me one of your people. I'll give them a deep dive in what not to do. Attached is a set of GPS coordinates to the middle of a desert in the American Southwest. And, oh, a mutant. Okay, so I know what that means. 
So that would be Wolverine, Magic, and that's it. Interesting. I think I can do two ops at a time, but I only have two ops available, so it's not a priority to do them all at once. And I did have... Where's my super link? Did we get any more messages here? I read that already. Okay, so nothing new here. Do I still have my challenge from Robbie to do a hero combo with him, or did that expire? So I definitely did not take Robbie on any missions for a while. I don't know where to see that. Oh, is this where it says their little affiliations? He's Tech and a Midnight Sun, Tech Avenger, Mystic Midnight Sun Mutant, Mystic Midnight Sun, Tech NYC Defender, Tactics and Mutant. All right. So that's where those go. But where is my mission for Robbie. Maybe it's just gone. Yeah, I might have. It might be expired now. Be nice if they give you like a heads up, like, "Hey, this thing is expiring tomorrow or something." Do it today. No chests. Just some people to talk to, Ghost Rider and Iron Man. Let me check out the library real quick. I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome you. Looking for any glowing Hello. things. Does Agatha want to talk? Not really. Never a dull moment. Mm-hmm. Hunter, did you hear this? I did. I was standing right here. Be honest with me. Am I really the right person to be summoning Johnny Blaze? You have been worried about your place on the team, Robbie. This is a good chance to show everyone how capable you are. I hope that when the time came to prove myself, I'd get a little more advance notice. Did you have other concerns? <sighs> yeah, but we don't have a week to go over all of them. So let's go. Just tell me what I gotta do. Yeah, Iron Man, what does he have to do? Oh, he wants to... Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? He wants a favor. Is it Friday yet? Oh wait, we don't get weekends in this job. Join a hangout with Tony Stark that he loves. Within three days, get a hunter combat bonus and ten resilience. Sure. I can do Thanks, that. Hunter. Probably. Hopefully I pick one that he loves. And is that it? Ooh, found more money. Heroic Essence. I guess let's check out the mission table. What brings the great hunter to see an old friend? So now that mission is available. Oh, and this has an epic intel cache. But I wanted to do this one. Well, I wanted to do this one because it was epic. Hmm. This is also epic. But it's epic credits. Blueprints are nice. Intel cache. I feel like that's what I need more than anything else. I'm not doing a hard mission, but I don't need to. So we got credits. Credits and mission story progression. 
blueprints, intel cache. But I have to play with Blade again. I think Blade's fine. He's kind of one of my medium leveled characters. I just don't like him that much, I guess. Uh, hmm. I guess just do the story. But for money, I mean, I gotta do it eventually. Alright, so let's check. So a story mission is going to have to be Hunter. It's going to have to be Ghost Rider for this one. So I can pick my third person, which is probably, probably Nico. Because she's my strongest. Let's check our levels. So Hunter's level 17. And if I'm bringing Ghost Rider, he's level 14. His deck's pretty bad, I believe. And then Nico's level 14. 15. So maybe it's time to try out Magic's Portal. New upgrade I got. I haven't tried it yet. But if I go in here, I can enter Limbo to face three waves of Soulless with a single hero. Each hero may enter the threat room once per day to try out abilities, gain XP, and level up. Combat bonuses are disabled. The hero's level is the highest on the roster that will not gain XP. Current highest hero level 17. So let's level up Nico before the mission. If we can get her closer to 17, then she'll be more effective in that fight. I think I heard, I don't know, but I heard that the missions are calculated based on your average hero level. So if she's higher level, that might raise the average and raise the enemy difficulty, but it, she'll be stronger too. Combat items may be used, but will not be permanently consumed. That's kind of nice. I can handle this, right? Do I? What do I have? You're wasting your time, but whatever. Man, I'm way more interested in using combat items if they're not consumed. Uh, we have a lot of minions. We got 122, 122, 122, 122, 122, 243, 243, 243, 243. On KO, refund a card play. Do they all have that? Max one per ability, of course. And these let you draw a card on KO as well. The minions do not let you draw a card. Okay. So which storm is 77? Target an enemy or nearby enemy four times. Which fire for 144? Takes out these guys, but not these. So if I hit, randomly hit one of the soulless beasts. We got soulless beast, soulless brute, and soulless minion. If we hit a beast first, that messes us up. Empower is okay. But I have both my heroic cards in my hand. I don't think she has a third one. Two witch fires. Blood magic for fast, but plus four heroism. I mean, I think witch fire is my best card. I just don't want to... I don't think anybody's close enough. Fast, man. If this were, like, strengthened, that would be way more enticing to play. I don't think any of the beasts are close enough to split the damage, because if I could get a Witch Storm to refund a card play, that would be ideal. I think I just have to play Witch Fire and hope that it doesn't hit a beast first. I'd love to take out a brute, because then I get my card play back and I get to draw a card. Blink. Blink. 
good. Doesn't this happen to you like okay. every day? Oh, I got the grout card for each of them? I did not expect that. I thought that would also be max one. Crack the sky consumes all heroism to damage random enemies for each heroism spent. And then I get a heroism back for each one KO'd. It only does 72 damage though. Um, but it's random enemies. So if I do play, I could play the blood magic and go gain four. I don't know how fast interacts with an X cost, because it says two, but it's actually an X, which is just however much heroism I have. So it'd be nice if I get one more trigger than I had heroism if I have fast. So I have two fast. I would give me two fast. That just means it lasts for two turns, not that I get two reduction. Well, now I have two witch fires again. So I still have three card plays. The chances that I hit a beast are upped significantly now. Double up copies every skill. What skills do I have? I have Blood Magic, which I don't need another one of, and Empower, which I don't need another one of. So, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna redraw this. If it doubled attacks, and I got a handful of Witch Fires, that would be something else. Oh, I have no more cards? I read you and I got nothing. That's not fair. Three, six, seven? There should be three more cards. I don't know how the reshuffle and then draw works. I don't have three witch fires in my deck. I played one and I drew one back. Why can't I do the same thing with the double up? I don't know. I wish the game had a rule book, then I would know how it works. I think I'm just playing another witch fire. Now it looks like it's about a 40% chance that I hit a beast, which is not great. I mean, I don't mind hitting a beast second, but I want my card play refund. If I do at least uh, 80 damage, Maybe 77's enough? Nobody's close enough to each other. So anybody I hit with Witch Storm is just going to hit 4 times 77. Which is going to kill them. Which is fine. Um, and I get to draw 2 cards? Is it really going to let me draw 2 cards or just saying that? It'll cost two heroism, but it will... You know what? I'm just gonna Witchfire. Still no beast got hit. Is holding out on you. Maybe you should ask about some new powers. There's a double up again, this time for attacks. But I just played Witchfire. But I might hold it for when I draw more witch fires. So now I'm thinking of cracking the sky. 77 damage four times. Maybe I do play this. It's gonna give me a ton of heroism for crack the sky. Um, it's gonna take a card play though. This has gotta help. Where are we at on XP? She's only a quarter of the way. So now, it does eight, but it will hit nine times. Okay, so that's nice. The fast does apply. And I think I'm just gonna do this. Blood magic is counter. I don't need that. Well, I hope I won't need that. I'm definitely gonna take somebody out, right? So I'll get a card play refund.
that's always fun. I could have made that so much worse. So now, got another witch fire. Witch storm only costs one. Got take took out three enemies, so I got three heroism back. If I take somebody out, I could draw another card, which, as far as I know, could be crack the sky again. 99, but these two didn't get hit, so they still are not in Witchfire range. Double up now, I get another two Witchfires. Still another redraw. I don't know how this interacts with Crack This Guy still. Maybe it still counts how much heroism you have, but you don't have to spend it? Uh, so this guy, 50 health, and this one 99. So there's a 50% chance that a Witch Fire will give me a card play refund. I'm not super happy with. 68. About. Oh, it's not quite enough to take one person out. But the 77 should be. Oh no, which either one is enough. So I get a I spend a heroism, but I get a card play refund. And draw two cards. This usually works. God, today might be your lucky day. I redrew the same card. Down to two heroism. Let's do that again. Going for it. I assume there's a way to skip the animation, but I can't decide if I want to. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an animation fan. You guys really don't Especially know what you're Nikos. Do you? Alright, so this time that one's drawn as a crit. So it's more damage than the one that has the damage mod. But now I'm just going to... Well, I've got two card plays and I only need one. So maybe I will double up. Not that I need all these cards, I keep drawing tons of cards. So let's get two more Witch Storms. I redrew double up. Oh, I'm never going to get Crack the Sky back because it exhausts. So that one's gone. Uh, this shot copies skills so I can get another counter, but plus four is nice or empower. And then we'll just witch fire. Finish them both off. Ouch. And took them all out. So I'm done. I think there are three waves. So let's see how many. Another batch of idiots coming in. Alright. Aw, you brought your A lot. to help. Not as many. We got another beast, another beast, another brute, beast, brute, brute, minion, minion. So I would love a strengthened version of this. Three, six, eight cards in hand. One card in my ten card deck got exhausted. Nine, but there. Two of these witch fires were from. Oh, I spent. I played one of my copies. 
I wonder if that stays as part of my deck cycle. I don't need a copy of a skill, though. And I don't need Empower, because I, I just don't need this much heroism. So I'm going to redraw Double Up first. I don't know. Can I redraw? No. I'm going to redraw the same card I discarded. So now what if I redraw Empower? Then do I get to draw Double Up? And it's for Heroics this time, so I can get two more Witch Storms. I'll take two more Witch Storms. Because each, win win each Witch Storm is a one-shot on a beast. And the fewer beasts I have, the better my Witch Fires will do. So let's do that. Oh, it's going to split it. But that's fine. I can just use two. No, it's not fine. But I won't get the card play refunds. Oh no, they're standing too close to each other. Oh, I got a KO. All right. Stay Phew. out already, loser. Drew him power again. Of course. Now it's at 89, so I don't have to worry about that. So maybe I do want to use a higher damage Witch Storm. To make sure we take somebody out. Oh, so now it's getting split three ways. I've got two card plays to work with, so... Even if I miss... I should be okay. Got a KO. Night -night. Double up on skills. Don't need that. All right. 34, 155. That's in witch fire range. 89, 243. Minion, minion. All right. So now I can witch fire. 167. I mean, 144 is enough, right? Oh, nope. We're going to do 167. Oh, thought it was gonna hit that one. It's very scared for a moment. And don't come back. Oh, I might not. There's a chance I don't kill everybody. I can still delve into these environmental attacks, but 155. Oh no, I can play the 167, and I will kill everybody. Or kill four people. And we got a level up. So level up's what we wanted. I mean, now I can just do this. Stop coming back, and this won't happen. And no redraws, but I'm gonna have to double up this skill copier next turn. Looks like we're not done yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this plan. What do we got here? Beast, 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 brute, brute, beast, minion. That's a lot of beasts. And they're grouped up, which makes Witch Storm not very safe. 96 damage four times. Let's redraw double up. I got nothing to draw. Oh, okay, so I guess the copies go away. I don't know. I don't think I need this either. Double up for skills again. Alright, so it's down to Witch Storm and Witch Fire and Environment Attacks. 
If I play both Witch Storms, I'll be down to three Heroism. If I play both Witch Fires, I'll be up to um, a number, six. So six Heroism to use on environment attacks, assuming my attacks take out, assuming I can play at least four cards, which means at least one card has to KO somebody, which seems pretty likely. It could fail. Four, five beasts, huh? 243. Which means five out of eight enemies don't die to witch fire. Not great. So I think I have to start with a witch storm and hope that it takes out. somebody, but it's very unlikely. I might have to do like a pair of witch storms and then hope that witch fires and environment attacks can finish the rest. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I don't want to hit the be the brute with that. So let's just hit these three beasts. This should be good. Spread out, which means I don't get any refunds, but I think that's better. Uh, I can Witch Storm here and just take this person out completely. I like that guarantee. I'm going to be able to draw two cards and get a card play refund. Then, if I draw another, I did, another Witch Storm. Blood Magic for Strengthened. That's what we've been waiting for, but I don't think I need it. Plus a lot of heroism, but I don't need that either. So, I can just Witch Storm here. I'll probably get a KO. But even if I don't, I think I'm okay. Here we go. I guess I could have Strengthened first, but... Now which fire should be able to close it out. So is everybody at 159, 122, 147, 147, 51. Everybody's at 181 or less. So let's still take out everybody except for one. Just because it only has four times. Fifty-one health left. We can do anything. I don't know. Let's move over here and just. Oh, what? There we go. Going for it. Just to mix it up a little. We only leveled up one time. And now am I allowed to use this again? Just not with Nico? What did Nico's level end up being? 16. All right, one short. And then who's my other person gonna be? Oh, right, Ghost Rider, who's level 14. His deck is bad but I don't want him to be the low loser here so let's do Ghost Rider 2 I feel like this is a little grindy like it's fun practice but it's something I'm not gonna want to do a lot I feel like I'm gonna feel like I should do it a lot every time I want to do a mission with anybody who's lower level than Hunter 
Maybe I need to do a better job of not letting Hunter out-level everybody? That doesn't seem realistic. Anyway. Alright. I don't think Ghost Rider is quite as equipped to take out everybody. Together. Let's see. Lash. Forceful knockback. Are their health different? 112. And... 224. So again, I just have to make sure I'm taking people out to get the card refunds. Card play refunds. Force will knock back and damage myself. Consume 20% of my health to damage an enemy and everyone near them. Knock back and discard a card at random. Gain strengthened. Also create a drop. I feel like this is pretty good. Grain soul, chain two, life seal full combo. Gain a soul, give all drain soul cards plus one chain and a heroism cost. Alright, I'm going to do the Hellmouth. The question is where? I'm going to be able to knock enemies into it. I think I'm mostly playing it for the strength in though, honestly, so even if I don't knock anybody in, I'm okay with that. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Now, I think I've got a healing card in here somewhere, right? Oh, this has lifesteal. So, let's start by lashing. It's just a minion. Forceful knockback. That'll almost take that guy out. Which is pretty good, actually, because... That puts him at low health. And I can use a different card to kill him and get a refund. Uh, why is this... Oh, it's reduced damage because my health has been reduced. And I lose 25% of my current health, not my total health. The more health I lose, the more damage it does. 165 kills 112, though. 145 does not take out 224. Nobody's really in a group. These two are close enough to each other. I'm gonna do that. Ride is nice. Why can't I move? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Chain two life seal. Full combo get a soul. How many souls? I've got four souls so far. Force will knock back and damage myself. Doesn't take anybody out. I need to take people out for the card play refund. Dropping low in health here. Hoping I can make it up with life steal. Got another drain soul. 
But if I play one, the other one's cost will increase to two. Oh, so when I fill out my soul meter, I draw a drain soul. Okay. And then... L ride from here is not great, but 291 in a row kind of like this. Can I hit all four of these, I wonder? Take out all of them? Well, two of them are minions. Can I take out multiple beasts? I wonder if I could take out these three. Two beasts and a brute. Or something like this. Brute, brute, brute. Is that good enough for three heroism? So unlike Nico, I am running low. I'm going to want to be able to play these Drain Souls. But I'm going to draw a lot of cards. Discard a random card. Oh, Hellride is discard my hand. But if I take out like three brute, three beasts, I'll get to draw six after that. Beast, beast, beast. Maybe that's good. It's only two, but I can move. But I still might want to play more other cards first. But if I retribution. If I drain soul, I go down to two heroism and I can't hell ride. If I retribution to get the heroism back, I might discard the hell ride. If I retribution first to go up to four heroism, there's a one in three chance I discard hell ride. But a one in. or in the 50 per, and a one third, two thirds chance I discard a drain soul, but I only need one. If I'm left with two drain souls, that might be fine as well. So, yeah, I'm going to play Retribution first. 145 on probably a Brute. Maybe this. Oh, that's a Beast. That's a Minion. What's a Brute that's kind of like off to the side? Maybe this one? Oh, Knockback, sure. I'm going to draw a card, too. I got another Hell Ride. Okay. Well, I can still Drain Soul and then Hell Ride. So this is going to life steal me. Bring me back up. Give me a soul. Plus, probably take somebody out. It's Chain 2, so that's um, 96 damage. So maybe over here. Oh, it's a beast, so they've got too much health. Uh-oh. I want the plus soul, right? For the full combo, but I might have to hit a minion. So that I don't... not get a card play. Because 96 damage is not enough. I would miss out on a soul in. No time to repent. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna hell ride 291. We'll take out three beasts. I'll discard my hand and then draw six. Hopefully that's the sequence that happens in, rather than draw six and then discard. So I'm going to move in line here. Hell ride all three of them. Got six new cards. Still have two card plays. My health is definitely not full. Did I draw Drain Soul? I did. 
I got drew two of them. But I'm gonna need to generate heroism. 145 and knockback. I'm gonna maximize that damage. Can't move again. Oh, this knocks him into the explosion. I think I just want to take this guy out directly. Draw another card. I lost something. I don't know what that was. Got another hell ride. Uh, I could hit this guy with a rock. But I want my... Heroism, I think, for Drain Souls. The next one can be uh, 144 damage. That's still not enough to take out this beast, though. I'm going to redraw Hell Ride. I might want it next round, but. Okay. I have two card plays, so not every card has to refund me. Okay. How's my souls count? It's up to three of four. I have two heroism. I kind of want to just lock that in and drain soul. But it's not going to finish him. So that's going to be my lost card play. Not last card play, but I'm losing it. I'm actually spending a card play here. Heal up 144 is nice. Now I need to hit him for 80. I have options for that. Sure. Can I just draw two more cards? Do I have room? How many cards do I have in my deck? Alright, that's plenty of cards. But a lot of them cost a lot of heroism. To damage myself again to take out these last couple minions. Or I can hit them with rocks. But I want the heroism. Alright, we leveled up. And I do another level up. One more minion. I don't. Well. This is probably fine. This card a card, but yeah, I'm gonna do that rather than spending heroism. So I want to keep my heroism. It seems like cards are easier to come by than heroism in this mode. Now that should still refund a card play, so I can do another Hellmouth again for the strengthened. Not rather, not really for the drop itself. That's a nice little line of enemies for a hell ride. Can I hit all these? A brute for one card, a minion, a brute for one card brute and a beast. So if I can hit all five of those, I can draw five cards. Or I can hit these four and draw a two, four, five cards. 
And that might be better because that's taking out two beasts at the same time. 224 health, Hellride does 315. So, yeah. Let's do that. Not quite in line for that, though. So, let's go over here. And just kick it off with a Hellride. Make sure we're getting everyone. Oh, I'm getting more than I. Another minion. That'll work. But I only have one move, so more than one hell ride is not totally an option. Just because of positioning. I mean, I'm kind of in position. Does a nice chunk of damage. Still want to preserve my heroism, though. Knock back, discard a card. Sure. Mindless followers suffer the same fate. Judgment, but my health is really low. Rain Soul is now three heroism. It's going to do 200 damage. And I get to heal. So I'm going to do that. Your suffering and... Full health, almost. 15 health short. I just need to do 112 damage. I'll kill him. This is a 39% chance to kill him. Let's do that. Take a little bit more heroism before the next round. Although I still have three card plays and no enemies. So let's do another Hellmouth. Take a little bit more heroism as well. And that's all I can do. That one goes away, that's fine. Oh, two of them go away. That's also fine. Still strengthened. Alright, so we got... Beast, 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 beast. Beast. Brute, brute, minion. What's the best hell ride line? I feel like it's just these three. I could just start like with that. There's no way to get. Ooh, I can get four people. Let's do it. A lot of cards. This is kind of satisfying. Uh, another Hell Ride. We're three heroism away from that. I could play Hellmouth again. I mean, the strengthened. I don't think it's like stacking. It's just how many turns it lasts. But it seems like it should have more strengthened than that. So I don't know. Maybe it's not. But at the very least, it makes heroism. And I have the card plays to spare. 157 against 112. I need to start putting some damage onto this beast. Just out of range of that. So maybe just do this. Discard a card. Draw a card. Lost a hell ride. I still have a move, but I didn't have to move. But I don't think I can hell ride all the three of them. But I could hell ride two of them if I had two more heroism, which I can have. 
I don't want to do a big drain soul. Can I get up to four heroism? This will put me to three. I can lash somebody. Let's just do a hell mount. And now I can end my battle with full health. Alright, we did the Ghost Rider thing. And we leveled up twice. So it would be 16, 16, and 17. Nice. Forged in the fires of hell, here comes the Ghost Rider. Alright, now we can go to our real mission. Go back over to the table. Oh, I need to do ops, though. So, because we know our we'll roster there, let's send um, Wolverine, because he's tactical. And then here, choice, let's send Magic, because she's a mutant. And honestly, those are probably the people I would want to send do as you wish. anyway, because I want to upgrade both of their decks. So, Thanks, Hunter. that worked out. And then we'll go ahead and do this. Ghost Rider story mission. Let's see if there's a cutscene. Take it away. So you want me to do what? Give Johnny Blaze a call? On my Spirit of Vengeance cell phone? Yeah, that's the general idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was joking. We are not. These cuffs of Sidorak should allow the mirror table to access the innate link between you and your fellow Spirit of Vengeance. On loan from the demon who resides within our forge. I added aloe to avoid any chafing. <sighs> Every other attempt we've made has failed. We need Robbie Reyes today, as well as the writer, if we are going to find Blaze and the page. Fine. So what do I do? Focus on Blaze or some... Their spirits have connected. Gee whiz, you think? You cannot flee destiny. You cannot hide from me. Or Lilith, it would seem. We must go now, Hunter. The parchment of power must not be allowed to fall. Got this. Buzz off, Sparky. <laughs> That was awesome. Good work, everyone. All right, so now we got level 16, 16, and 17. Should mean everybody can participate in the fight. I'll admit, I definitely learned a bit more about how to use Ghost Rider's kit. See you later, Wolverine. Enjoy your ops mission, magic. We're in a race to get Blaze before Hydra does. I just hope you reach him first. They're moving quite fast. We need to get the parchment from him. And don't take no for an answer. I will handle that part. Oh. Crossbones and saber too. You're all a pack of fools. Oh man, is he? He's really gonna go for it. Go for what? Hold on. 
expected that. Another meat puppet lady? You want the page so bad, why don't you come get it yourself? Tempting. Truly. But I've already promised my children the privilege of tearing it from your soul. <laughs> what soul? They didn't get us? Wow. Hello, mother. That's pretty cool, man. I'm not a car person, but that was pretty cool. Defeat the nest mother. Nest mothers summon altars each turn, destroy them to damage her. If altars are not destroyed, the nest mother may turn them into monuments, monuments of different effects that can help enemies. So, I'm glad they give that tutorial multiple times because I like being reminded of the rules, especially when I tend to change around which enemies show up. Alright, it's a lot of hunter cards, and then a drain soul for 76 damage. Nest Mother's protected. We have 176 block to work through. Bands of Fire does 115 plus a knockback. I assume this is the board. This is just a set piece that is in the background. We can't interact with that. We got some rocks, which are vaults. Oh, no, this one's a slide. Villain Altars. Immune to bleed, corrupted, and lifesteal. Can't be targeted by combos but I can attack them and destroy them. So these Holy Sparks could be nice, and the Quick Slash as well. Maybe knock an enemy into it, for example. That will damage the Nest Mother a bit. I might just do that. What is this? 383 Dark Legion. Oh, they split when they take damage. During one of the challenge missions I did for hunter I had to split them to make sure I could defeat us like I had to defeat a certain number of enemies and if I didn't split them I wouldn't have enough enemies to defeat but in this case I might rather do as few attacks as possible although when they split they do divide the health so it's not like just a bunch of free health getting spawned out and we have these ley lines which can be detonated to do vulnerable well only if they're knocked into it and this guy's immobile, and she's protected, so that's not going to be likely. Uh, looks like three vulnerable ley lines. And then, how many altars? One, two, three, four, five altars. One, two, three, three minions? Four minions. Four minions, five altars... The Splitter, the Protector, and the Mother. Alright. 72 damage. So I could definitely break the Protection with the Drain Soul and Bands of Fire. But I'd love to... I'd love to break the Protection before playing the Bands, because then I can apply Vulnerable. Well, actually, the mother, Nest Mother might be in the way. Tossing him into that Ley Line. But I can toss him to this Ley Line. That will damage the Dark Legion, though. Does taking damage from an explosion count as taking damage from an attack? I don't know. I don't think I need to heal. Let's redraw it. Because I have a lot of quick stuff that I feel like I'm going to be turning into 
destroy these altars, so I'm gonna need more action. Retribution is good. Knock back and discard a random card. So if I can break the protection, then maybe I knock the nest mother into the vulnerable. But it's only one vulnerable. But still, retribution plus the detonation would be a nice chunk of damage. Over 200 damage. What does she have? Like 500 health? 800? Alright. Well, well, I'm going to be damaging her via this stuff here. So, this only hits the dog and the legion, which I don't even know if I want to hit that legion. Let's start on this. I need to definitely probably want to take out the dogs because I don't want a bunch of attacks coming in. All right, it's almost 100 damage per hit. I mean, 80% of 100 damage per hit. So, 10 alter, 10 alters is almost her whole health bar. Um. Hmm. Knock back in any direction, draw a card. Oh yeah, that one's... We're saving that for our big boy over here. Holy sparks. What can I do with a shove? I'd like to be able to take out a monument and a dog with a shove, but I don't know if that's possible. You can do that. That's a nice chunk of damage, but I don't think that's how I want to use the explosion. Nobody really has an angle. Well, maybe I can get an angle. Where will he end up? Is he not going to move? He's got to move, right? To Drain Soul? He gets right up close. So where's he going to be standing? Oh, right there? And then I can shove that dog in. So let's do that. Your fate. I hope that's where he ends up standing. It's not where they told me he was going to be standing, but okay. Whatever works. Oh, I wasted the life steal. And now he's not going to be able to do the shove I wanted. Well, that didn't work. I wish it told me the real position he was going to be standing in. Alright, so I'm going to hit this guy, break through his protection. But I can't knock him back. And I'm not going to KO him. I'm wasting a lot of side bonuses from these cards. Oh, now he's taunted. Oh, because that guy has the rage or whatever. I feel more like myself every day. Level up to 18 just in time. Because I assume the enemies got generated based on our level going into the mission, not our current level. Um. Oh, she didn't really. She hardly moved, so that's not going to help my knockback plan. On KO draw cards, I guess I'll just see what I draw here. Let's hit the dogs. Your mother abandons you. Which storm? Now no. I can take out two dogs though with a shove, that's pretty good. Because then I can use the other quick card on a altar. Which I think I would like to do. She takes another 82 damage. Down 10%. One card play. Uh, if I play that, I'm going to discard Witch Storm. But 
but I'm going to draw to a full hand size anyway. But I might want to save the knockback, honestly, until I can apply vulnerable and benefit from it. So, which storm actually might be better? I'll leave that doppelganger alone, or that splitter, or whatever it's called, the Dark Legion. And just hit these two for a bunch of damage with witch storm. Here we go. Oh, now she's going to be taunted, though. Trifling creature. Triggered the rage. I'm right here. Well, I feel like I'd rather Hunter take the hit, but that is unfortunate. Got no heroism. Well, Nico's gonna get hit pretty hard. Sorry. I didn't think about that. I might have done the same thing, but. Alright. Well, let's see how bad it is. About 130 damage. Reinforcements. Three dogs. She's gonna do something. She made a monument. Fall before me. And oh wow. Oh, he's going to spend more health to protect her again. And they're targeting Hunter. Who just got a resist. They are... Enemies explode when KO'd. Hundred seven block to get through it. I forgot they do that every turn. Now she's not in position to get knocked into a ley line either. Enemies explode. Can I hit them with range? Ninety six damage witch storm is nice. Almost four hundred damage. And since this guy's guarding, he would take all the hits from it. They can almost take him out. But they still have about 30 health left. Or 40? I don't know. 16 plus 22 plus 7. Judgment. It's not a lot of damage. Well, that's not bad. 135 is good. Knock this guy back. They split, but then they become e squishier. With each split. Can I destroy the monument? Yes, but it has a lot of health. Ugh. 114 and knockback. Holy Burst, damage each enemy and restore health. How big was the area? The area was not too small. Empower. I could like empower Witch Storm Holy Burst. But that doesn't take care of the dogs. I have no heroism, so Empower handles the heroism problem, but... I need to know how big this is. I wish I could see it. I 
What do I have just in terms of a shove? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good shove. Or we shove this legion into this thing, make it vulnerable, and then I don't know if both of its splits will be vulnerable, but it should be a lot lower on damage after that. A lot lower in health. And we could have two little guys to take out maybe with the Holy Burst? Do I empower now? This feels risky. But I'm gonna... Let's see what happens. Oh, I also need to be careful about them exploding on me. Alright, I get to draw two cards. Crack the sky for zero. It's not great. Which fire for 156 is pretty good. Now let's see how big Holy Burst is. Oh, it's small, small. So small. Man. Oh. Jeez. So this is a monument, two dogs, and a heel. Uh, I feel like I want a witch storm. This guy. This usually works. At the very least, it's going to burn through his armor. Now he's taunted, but I'm thinking I'm going to want to finish him off. Oh, I still got that combustion. 45 health. If I had one heroism, I could not hit them with the rock. I want to heal Nico. I might need to move her just to be in range. I wonder if she can shove this guy into this thing. There's only vulnerable one. I'm gonna do it. Does that count as an attack? Apparently so. Oh, that one backed away. That's not good. And it's not vulnerable. Now can I holy burst? Whoops, I didn't no mean to click, mercy. but... Pretty Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Good. Is it? Maybe that was not good. I was thinking that was gonna finish them off, but it didn't. Two health left. Yeah, I didn't mean to click, I was still assessing the situation. And I have no card plays. Not super ideal. I didn't take out any dogs. Also not ideal. Uh, but I have nothing to do. So... I didn't take him out. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay. Let's, uh... Nothing I can do. I got two redraws, but... Witchfire right now would be really good, though. I'm just trying to decide if I'm ever going to have enough heroism for a good crack the sky. I might want to redraw it 
just because it's not going to be good for a while. Probably don't need two lashes. Hellride could be nice. Be good if I could play it for free right now. She's down to 330, so at least there's that. And my heroes are almost full. Not anymore. 118 and a wound. Hunter gets three attacks from the dogs. One of them she gets to resist. Her armor's broken and she's down some health. That guy split again for some reason? Why? gonna do she made another monument and then I will not be defied. she does line attacks Jeez. Be embarrassed by your weakness Ow. wait did that attack its friend what was that does he have health to spare what's he doing 11 wow all right. You and you are. Okay. Well. Remember to keep an eye on those altars. The nest mother channels Lilith through them. That won't be enough to save her. Everyone's got so few health. I feel like I'm gonna lead with Witchfire. It's gotta hit relevant targets, right? Or maybe minions. If I can take out minions first. Not quite. I mean, that's taking out three enemies. All right. What was that? Um, if they explode, they still explode? They still explode. One health, huh? Maybe... If she does this... She can't? Why can't she? I'm just worried if I witch fire and blow up these enemies, they're going to kill her. Why can't... Why can't we use this rock? Oh, we can. Please. Oh, don't take the damage. No. I thought she would move. Come on. Oh, no, she can't. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I have to do this then. Well, I can redraw. I need something that makes heroism. That makes some. He's immune to knockback. So awkward. I thought she would move. Whenever heroes are going to damage themselves, they move out of the way. But I guess it didn't calculate for the fact that it was an on KO effect. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to hell ride. So let's get rid of both of these. Well, that's a lot of heroism. That I don't have, and I need one to revive so I can witch fire. So I've got to play a card that makes heroism. My options are Hellmouth or Retribution, which is discards a card at random, which could be witch fire, but odds are low. Or revive. Either of those. So I have to play Hellmouth. There's just too high odds that I. Wow. I'm playing this just for. Heroism.
Dang. So you can't knock back him, even though he's only got such a low amount of health left. He's got some block, which means he can't be moved. I think I have to hope that 114 damage. And she's got 330. There's so many Dark Legions now. I think I made a lot of mistakes last turn. This is gonna be so sad. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Okay, last drain soul. So now I can revive and then witch fire. If it hits Lil or the nest mother though, that ends my chain. But I still think that's my best option. I'm back ready for more. You shouldn't have been for me. Okay. Okay. Sure. Good. You walk a fine line, Blood What is this? This is still a a monument of shadows. Enemies have a chance to gain concealed when damaged. Alright. So now, still have a move, and Hunter can do this. Feeling better. There's a reasonable chance that that Nest Mother can take out somebody, maybe even two people. Well, she does like 100 damage per hit, so I don't think she can, actually. Down to 194. This can put her down to like 110 if I destroy that, but it has more health than it would make her lose, so that might not be worth it. No card plays. I could heal with my item, but I don't think I need to. I could be... All who stand before us will fall. Hubris. Join the fray, my children! You got more altars and a monument and that's it? That's not it. Monument of Mending, but they're all minions. Alright. If Robbie were as cocky as his counterpart here, he wouldn't be nearly as likable. <laughs> Ooh, plus four heroism. That puts me and too fast. So then I can I can blood magic hero combo blade storm. if I put the fast on Hunter. Actually, it doesn't matter, because Hero Combo on Nikio or Ghost Rider will do it. Draw one of their cards. Whose card do I want to draw? Probably Nico. Which fire? That's the one. So let's hero combo here first. Here. Bring about their end. You can do it. They're down. But I don't think you're out of the woods yet. Why not? I want to be out of the woods. Oh, is that the end of the fight? I don't have to kill the dogs. Only you in the flesh, kid. What's left of it? The page, Blaze. This time I will not be so tolerant. 
Hold that thought. Soulless bastards must smell the damn thing on me. My mother be damned. Soulless don't give two rats about Lilith. Or even Kassan. Who do they serve then? Good question. But right now I got a better one. You want this? Is that what you're all here for? Well, here. Tenebris. Ignis. Lux. Tenebris. Wait. Virtue He's day. not reading the page. Yes, she is. Get back. Things are about to get... Great. Martha. Where you go? Oh no. Survive the onslaught of Solus for four turns. If you use a card to defeat a Solus, the card play will be refunded. Defeating stronger Solus will draw more cards to your hand. Alright, we got some practice with this. Do we have health? Alright, Witchfire, Bladestorm. Copy skills, which would be Hellmouth and Deadly Ground. A lot of enemies. We got 393, 393, 197, which fire is not quite enough. 197, 197, 197. These are ley lines that apply weak. All right, how many? How many beasts? 393, 393. So four brutes, two beasts, and a bunch of minions. But I don't have... I don't have witch storm, witch fires strong enough for the brutes like I did before. Drain soul is for three, so 114. Bladestorm would be fun. Ah, I want a witch fire, but man, if I could get her strengthened. There's just two high odds that I missed. There's three, four, five, six, seven minions. But there's six non-minions that would not get KO'd by it. So where do we start? This strengthens him, but not Nico. That would turn this 98 into 150, which is still not enough. Drain Soul. Man. This isn't a great hand for this. There are a lot of explosives, though. If I do get to Bladestorm, it could be very good. I've got redraws, and I don't need to double skills, so let's redraw that. That could be better. Do I want the Strengthened? 114 becomes plus 57, 71, 171. That's still not enough. With a knockback, though, it could be. I just need something to get the ball rolling, I think. Put in the middle or, like, put in the back? Maybe here. Vengeance is near. Lots of witch signal signs on the walls. Alright. Now he's got 171. 
That's a minion, yeah. If I just do this, I get to get a card play refund. Or do I want to hit a brute? Yeah, let's take out a brute. There's a witch storm, which would be good if I weren't about to spend all my heroism on a blade storm. Or at least see what my options are. So this would take out minions, which means I get a card play refund. Oh, was it just two? Brutes? Or two beasts? I thought there were two beasts. Can I knock anybody into... that? To do a nice chunk of damage, but here I can hit both of the beasts for some damage. And I'm taking out four minions. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to get to draw any cards. I'm still gonna do it. All who serve Lilith will fall. That might have been something better, but I don't want to spend forever. I get the card play refund. Draws would be good too, though. So if I witch fire, what are the chances I take out somebody? One, two, that's a no. So two out of three, three out of four, three out of five, three out of six, three out of seven, three out of eight. No, four out of nine. Ugh, that's not great odds. But I have two card plays. Oh no, this is a yes. So it's actually slightly above half. I'm gonna go for it. Watch Gotta get a little lucky. Failed. <sighs> Which means I only have one heroism. I can judgment to take somebody out. 147 take out this brute and draw one card, or I can waste some damage on this beast and draw two cards. I'm going to draw two cards. I have to discard a card as well, but I can't really use either of the ones I have. Oh wait, I didn't have to discard a card. Maybe that was a different effect. Now, double up for skills again. Which I don't have. I'm going to redraw that. I have Deadly Ground, but I don't need another one. Quick Slash is good. Quick Slash is good. Still have a move as well. I need two heroism for Witch Storm. I can lash this into this and take out both minions. I want to do that. There we go. You doom yourself by 
my association. And he got weakened. One heroism short. I don't know what's better. Witch Storm 84 takes three hits to take this guy out. Only two for him. Chain three. I can take this guy out and draw a card. Yeah. Return to your mother. I got to draw two cards. Now I have two heroism. I wonder if I'm gonna hit empower. Might save a couple drained souls in empower. Witch storm. This guy needs to get hit twice. This is going to split it up three ways. This splits it up two ways, and I mean, if we if it ends up being 50-50, he will get knocked out. But if not, I'm done. It's just my last card play. I don't want it to be my last card play. No more redraws. I have a move. Shove can't quite reach that guy. I can do that. And then I draw a Ghost Rider card, actually, from my new thing. Oh, I didn't build it, did I? Did I forget to build it? I don't remember if I get to build the thing and draw a card. Well, I'm going to need to kill people who are targeting Ghost Rider because he's got no health. Unless I drain soul. Doesn't this happen to you like every day? So I might have to drain soul instead of witch fire. Drain soul's going to do over 150 damage, but not 197. I'll we'll do 171. But I think I have to cuz I do want the life steal. I don't want him to well, no, I can just witch storm this guy. But it might not even take him out. That's the thing, is it could hit this guy three times or four times. So I'm going to need to drain soul to guarantee Ghost Rider doesn't go down. I have a card play left. I can get fast. And four heroism. But too fast means it'll apply again next turn. Or I can do deadly ground. I do not have a damaging move that I can afford to play because I don't have heroism. I have three heroics. I got no attacks. So I have to spend my last card play. I could... This is a two heroism cost for 65 damage. No rocks around to just bash that minion. So I think those three attacks are going to go through. So do I set up with Blood Magic and Fast or Deadly Ground? Well, I feel like enemies have been using my tr the terrain against me, so I'm going to use this. I get more heroism. Oh, well, who do I want to give it to? Either Ghost Rider or Nico. Nico. I could do Hunter too, but let's do Nico. Two cards. Whoa, that was weird. I still can't play them. So I'm done. 
Do I need to heal anybody? They're not gonna hit that hard, are they? more than I expected. They must be getting desperate. The soulless may not be powerful, but they have the numbers to overwhelm you. Don't get cocky. As if the Lilin were not enough. Now Mostly we minions. The servants of another evil. Makes no difference to me. Hell has room for everyone. It's all really mostly minions. 197, 197. No more uh, beasts. It's all brutes and minions. So a hell ride is in the middle of it, but what kind of line of hell ride could we get? 228. I don't think he can get more. If he can get all three of these, that would be great. Let's try. I don't know if he can do it. I hope I don't waste my move. Oh, and then I have to discard my hand. But I'm going to draw three cards. All right, let's hold off. I got him into position. As long as I save three heroism for three heroism for him, let's hold off for a second. Witch storm. I think this guy's by himself, so I just need to hit him three times. I'm good to draw a card. It's only costing one heroism because she's fast. This should be good. I'll get to draw at least one card, possibly two, and another one. Don't play me. You started I it. do get to draw two cards. Holy burst. Alright. Well. That'll put me down to two heroism. I already used my move, so I can't. I mean, if I can hell ride. Oh, all these. We have four minions left. I'd like this to heal. Man, but I really have no... I just I just need to do it. We'll see what I draw. I'm gonna draw three cards, so... Sky as a crit is nice. Holy spark. I take out a minion. Empower. I already used my move. Is this. This can take out two of the three. So let's do that. He'll move out of it, right? Why is he not going to move out of it? Whatever. Okay. It was showing him that it was showing that he's going to take the damage. She still has one fast. I might play him power next turn. So let's just do this, and that'll give me one heroism. Triggers Paragon Collar. 
going to play Paragon Collar. So it's not taking up a slot in my hand. Your next light card is free. And then hit this guy with a rock. We cleared everybody out. I have redraws, but I think... Man. I'm going to save them both. Both the cards. Alright, so that looks like a beast. Then you should have no trouble brute, brute. Them. And quickly. Five minions? Got another hell ride, and they are very lined up. Or at least the ones with health are. 228 is not enough to take it out, though, even if you got strengthened somehow. I can empower Drain Soul Hell Ride. Drain Soul for 150 damage. Mm-hmm. 166 is not quite enough. Empowered Drain Soul. Witch Fire. Crack the Sky Hell Ride. I don't know. I'm feeling the empower though. Let's start with that. See what I draw. That is a relevant card. <laughs> Gotta love that. It's not gonna work with Hell Ride. I'm okay with it. It is tough. Okay. Not a lot of health left. 85, 281. Drain Soul can do... What? Uh, 150? It's not quite enough. 85. This is free. If Overhealed draw two cards... 246. Let's heal Ghost Rider and draw two. Walk in the light. Holy Spark. Draw a card. Pathetic. Or two. Got Bladestorm back. Oh, it doesn't cost zero? Because it wasn't in my hand at the time, I guess. I can crack the sky for three. 107 three times. Should do it, actually. sure what happened there. Did she have more than 114 health left? Maybe that's what happened. Each heroic gets copied. I can now blade storm again. Let's just drain soul. Oh. Everybody gets to play a heroic. That's what empower is for.
Are we still playing? What's going on? Nope. There's uh, nobody here. Why if this keeps surviving? I thought it was for three turns. Okay. Well, do I have more heals then? Nico and Hunter could use some more health. Or I can just play... Automatic targets not found. <laughs> uh, I can just do a... Uh, whatchamacallit. Where's the deadly ground? That's what I'm looking for. Do I not have that in my hand? Here it is. So we got one, two, three, in addition to these little ley lines. I can do redraws. I don't know if I need that many heroic cards, unless I draw in power, which I cannot do, unless I redraw. Witch fire for 166 might not be great. Hellmouth is mostly good for heroism it makes? Not sure I need that. So let's redraw that. A lash. I don't know, I'm being very picky about what I might need or might not need. Hellride's gonna go up to full price. I could just be good enough though. I could play Bladestorm and Hellride next turn with maybe a Witchfire or something. So I'm gonna lose the low witch fire. Low damage. Just in case I got heroism. Because double up her or I mean empower. Double up empower would just be wild. You may be reaching the end of their onslaught, but Let's redraw don't a lash. I was just starting to enjoy myself. Judgment. Area effect. What kind of line are they in? You get three in a line, or these five. But these are better because of all the health. If I want to hell ride them. Oh, he doesn't actually do enough damage anymore. I lost, dropped, dropped the. Dropped the thingy. Drain soul for five. And I do kind of want really like Empower. I'm being greedy here. Two oh six. can just make a free heroism. Hmm. Oh, I don't have a redraw. Okay, I guess that's... This is what we're working with then. Well, if I can take somebody out, there's still a chance I could draw the Empower. I could start with Blade Storm. I want to hit people with hit points, but they're kind of spread out, aren't they? That's not bad. It's only hitting two people, but it's killing one and getting one very low. I think that's good enough. I will make this quick. I don't have to hit ten people. I could have doubled up first, actually. Maybe I should have doubled up first.
There it is, too. Well. Three card plays. Alright, let's copy each heroic. I could have had an extra blade spawn. No, because if I had blade, if I had doubled up, then blade storm, then when I went to do the thing, I wouldn't be able to. I think that's the most cards I've ever had in my hand. So where is a drain soul for five? Two hundred damage should do it. I wonder if the Drain Soul that got copied is going to go up in cost. No. So 200 damage. Is this 300? 109. It hit him three times. I don't get my full combo bonus, but that's okay. Now that was something. <laughs> so many cards. Alright, let's just witch storm. Or witch fire. That's funny. I think my strongest move is a not heroic card. Storm. For, For now. now. That's a hilarious hand, though. Ooh, story. You survived. Ain't that something? I'm just piecing out. Ugh. What? The guy really knows how to make an exit. We still don't have it. Rude. One star. Man. I feel like they're very stingy. They better not ask me to up my difficulty. Hunter, when you get a chance, could you meet me at the chapel? Sure. Let's go. What's going on at the chapel? That's my favorite spot. How old is this game? Everybody looks like a block. Uh, are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna take a seat? Oh, is this another Scarlet Witch conversation? Seen? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of Lillian Corruption I found in the Book of Thaw? You mean the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption, and the traveling light worker who purified him? That's the one. Of course, I remember. Well, Magic and I finally transcribed the incantation the light worker used. And I'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your psycho mom's corruption of Rwanda. Pretty sure is not enough, especially not when meddling with powers that are as oh no, I went for the light point magic. Oh, seriously, Hunter, I, I thought you would be on board with this. The incantation killed someone, Nico. It just does not sound safe, and I want you to be safe always. Oh, it's definitely not safe. How so? <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the light worker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body, and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on chaos magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere or to, like, somebody. So, whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. Mm. 
Why is that the dark answer? I will do it. Anyway, I'm still going for light points. I already Please maxed Nico friendship. You are not going to attempt to absorb it. You will surely fall. Oh, I'm not absorbing your mother's toxic energy. You are. Excuse me? B before you freak out, just hear me out. You're Lilith's kid. Out of everyone here, the only person who has a shot of absorbing all that dark energy and not falling is you. Besides, if you don't do it, I will, and then you'll have my demise on your hands. So, welcome aboard, Hunter. When is this happening? What an ultimatum. As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, so listen up because it's kind of crucial. I'm going to need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris domun domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? No. It looks like I have quite a bit of preparation ahead of me. That's why you're my favorite demon. You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up. True. I just hope Caretaker doesn't stop us. Wait, what is that over there? What is my destination? Alright, I'm checking the map. How far do I have to walk? What is that? What is that? Oh, talk to Robbie at the Hell Ride. Okay. So we're going to... Oh, we're going to the shop. How does he feel about meeting Johnny Blaze, his hero? Hunter, I've got a theory. Want to hear it? My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loner. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. Maybe one day you will see Blaze for the man he truly is. I hope it comes soon. I don't. The guy's a stone cold legend. No reason why we should look for ways to tear him down. Especially after he saved our asses. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think we all need to cut him some slack. Good thing I don't really care about being friends with Robbie. Do not give him the courtesy of an excuse, Robbie. Blaze's behavior is endangering everyone, not just us. But everyone you love. I'm just trying to understand where he's coming from. Once we understand him, we can figure out how to handle him. I once had the same thought about my mother. As you can see, I never figured out how to handle her. Nor did anyone else. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? Still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. I do Anyways, leave you on the sidelines a lot. I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. All right. Where do we gotta go? We got some chests to open.
I don't have... Oh, not this one. Where is it? Is it around the side or out back? Oh, mushrooms. There we go. Ten keys. Legendary palette, legendary palette for hunter and hunter. Focused. Ooh, focused. For hunter, start with four card plays? I think it said for two turns. I like that. And the other one is here. This is back. Is that gonna be another key? There must not be anything here. Hey. Autumn does not answer. Why is it glowing then? Autumn the must not see it that way. Weird. Oh, what did I miss? Some deadly nightshade. Seventy-six gloss? That was an arcane key for seventy-six gloss? That's the worst epic chest ever. I must have every palette for every skin now. Right? Alright. This was a huge hit when I was a kid. What do we got going on? So you mean like last week? Last week. Oh. Banner thinks he's so clever with this demonic barrier, but I promise you, I'm gonna have the last laugh. <sighs> this isn't about one upmanship, Tony. Just let me focus, and I can get Hunter through the barrier. What's the holdup? Besides your incessant grumbling about Banner in my ear, I haven't yet found a way to properly shield the Hunter to pass through the barrier. Yeah, sure. While you're working on your magic fairy dust, I'll figure out how we get the parchment back here. It's too dangerous to be left out there in the wild. It's not fairy dust. That's all wrong for this job. And if the sanctum was still around, that would have been the perfect place to store the parchment. Well, it's gone, and Banner's still out there taunting me. So let's hurry up and get some answers. They both lost something precious. And they're both babies about it. While you're All right. Your little you want to talk? Hunter, do you have a spare gamma accelerator? No. I'm serious. What kind of ancient hero are you if you don't have the latest experimental gamma technology in your back pocket? Of course, but I put them in my gamma pants. Sorry. <sighs> You have gamma pants? Jealous! Do you not have other things to be focusing on right now? Well, no, actually. Among other things, I'm trying to figure out how to breach that nasty barrier of go away that Banner managed to throw up around the Hydra Lab. Strange swears up and down that he'll be able to pierce the veil. If he can deliver, great. Otherwise, he should get out of the way, you know? The rivalry between you and Strange is somewhat amusing, but the time for amusement is running out. You need to find a way to work together. Are you kidding me? I love the Doc. Yeah, he's a little stiff, but we're like brothers. I even let him use my beard trimmers. You still feel confident in your plan to destroy the parchment with the accelerator? Well, I've been going over my father's files. He had big plans for this thing. Let's just say, I don't think anything would withstand being on the wrong end of it at the wrong time. You believe your father had ill intent for this device? He had ill intent for everything. 
But this, in particular, I think he was trying to find a way to unlock the scientific essence of magic itself. So in a way, it's kind of poetic. I'm gonna use Dad's shady tech to stop Banner's shady treachery. Forget about revenge, Tony. Think about the ways that technology could be used for good. I cannot allow my own vengeance to consume me. Well, I see your point. I don't want to wallow in the muck, stay above it, etc., etc. Look, I'm not getting anything done. I'll tell you what, let's find this Gamma Accelerator, bring Banner back from the dark side, stop your mom, and then we can sit down and have a nice chat. I've got this awesome new juicer back at my place, we can do it there. Juicer? Oh, you'll love it. It would juice your shoes if you let it. In the meantime, back to work. The light in the shadows. The light inside the hunter continues to grow, unlocking the light suit and a new hunter passive. Continue earning light balance points to unlock further rewards. Light suit. And a new hunter passive. Defender of the light. Light attacks and heroics have a greatly increased chance to be critical. I'm interested. I have to double check my deck though. So I have Holy Spark. So 82 damage as a crit becomes what? Like 120? This one's not upgraded, but it could be. Not light, not light. This doesn't crit, this doesn't crit. And this would become like 180. This could become... I wish the healing part could crit. It's pretty good. Greatly increased chance to crit, huh? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna. We'll see how much I miss getting the heroism slash resist on her, which seems pretty good. Let's let's try it. Oh, I got new weapon potential. I don't know if I want that. All right, let's take that. Take these shiny, shiny blades. And then what is my new... Oh. No, why does she look like a paladin? I don't want to look like a paladin. What is this? Can I put on a cape, though? Ooh, super? What is super? else going on? Oh, it's evening. I haven't seen anybody wanting to do a hangout. We didn't have a club meeting. What's going on? Too much craziness going on with the story mission? Oh, something to read. Haunted Echo is a collection of transient folk songs, the woodman's, le woodsman's lament, and round she danced the woodman's wife as the fake king played his lyre. At his feet, the rings revealed a cold and lifeless fire. Oh, dance for me, the king cried. He, as her sight grew dark and dim, the woodsman's wife, though you may be, you'll ne'er return to him. Very sad. 
and another book. Cthon, an excerpt from On the Origins of the Elder Gods, the, his, the belief closely held among scholars of the secret histories of this world is that the Elder Gods were brought into creation by the Demiurge soon after our planet had formed. Of the ethereal divinities birthed all those eons ago, the most powerful were Ashtur, Set, Gaia, and Cthon. For millions of years, the Elder Gods ruled over all of creation, but each sought out knowledge that would alter their paths and their fate of the planet itself. Ashtor, fascinated by what lay beyond Earth's firmament, set out for the heavens. Cthon studied the mystical forces of the universe, harnessing them to his will, becoming Earth's first black magician. Set acquired the most dangerous knowledge of all. He discovered that by devouring his fellow gods, he could consume their power. Seeing this, the most, of the, most of the other gods followed his example. Wars of cosmic proportions broke out amongst them as they struggled for dominance. But with their actions began a degeneration, and those gods who had consumed their kin were soon reduced to demons. Only Gaia had refrained and so saved herself from the fall. By communing with the Demiurge, she was able to bring Atum into the world who had become known as God Eater. Huh. Weird. So. Earth is the center of all creation, or at least that's where the Elder Gods started out? Is that what I'm being led to believe here? I have a few theories on who sent those soulless after us and Blaze. Nobody wants to hang out. No meetings, nothing. Sounds like I missed an interesting Oh, this is available. I'm so happy Robbie got to work alongside one of his Let's check that out, and then I think I'll be done. So let's go to the library. I'm going to go to sleep and call it a day. Better not just be gloss. Epic palette for hunter, rare palette for hunter, gloss, and epic palette for hunter. All right. We'll go to bed. We'll see if there's any dreams, but otherwise we'll wake up. And pick back up in the morning next time. We do have a dream. Hold your horses. We're gonna talk to our mom. The fool Blaze risks us all with his reckless antics, blindly wielding the parchment of power like a child with their first wooden sword. Who knows what horrors he could have unleashed? We are fortunate he did not destroy us all. Had you not forced his hand, perhaps he would not have used it, Mother. Men like Blaze need little justification for their actions, don't they? Besides, it was not I who set the soulless upon you. Then who? It's bad enough you and your misguided heroes are hell-bent on keeping the parchment from me. If someone... Something else were to get their hands on that wretched thing. Wretched? You would speak ill of your precious Darkhold? The Darkhold is many things. Precious is not one of them. The book has a will of its own. It enslaves and then destroys any soul foolish enough to try and tame it. No matter how strong they may think they are. Better to help me contain the damage, lest it consume us all. As long as any of us draw breath, we will stand against it. Against you. And as I have tried so hard to explain to you, child, I am not your enemy. Then prove it. Then who is? Cast away What's going on? Book and reclaim what remains of your soul. If only it were that simple. The parchment of power will be found. The dark hold will be made whole. He wills it so. Secret guardians, sorcerers, and tinkerers, your so-called family will shatter before the coming storm. But you and I. We'll stand tall, precious child. United before the eye of the midnight sun. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe so we can get more subscribers. And bye.